Hello everyone, welcome again to Sapphire Makeup. Um, I just realized that, oh my god, it is the last day of January, so why not do a Favorites of January video? Um, I have a few favorite products, so what I've tried to do is kind of um, break them up between hair, skincare, um, makeup, and perfume. Um, and I think that should cover the, the different genres. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is hair. Um, as some of you may know, I am trying to grow my hair out. Uh, it was really, really short for quite a while, and now I want to grow it down long again. So just before, just around Christmas time, um, I picked up some new shampoo by TG, and it's the Curls Rock Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, there's nothing special, like nothing fancy about it. It's not sulfate free or paraben free or anything like that unfortunately um, but it smells really good it smells kind of like green hard candy you know like a green sucker or something anyway and it works really nice I got um, the next one that I have is the soy triweight leave-in condi conditioner by the healthy sexy um, or it's in the healthy sexy hairline by sexy hair or whatever they're called. This is my third bottle. Um, I spray it in my hair every day after I have a shower, regardless of what I'm doing with my hair. It is my leave-in conditioner, and it just helps fight frizz um, and flyaways because it's winter and it's you know really dry out and stuff. So I love that. Also, I have the Rusk Curl Silk Texture Control Mist. This stuff is really nice. Um, what I do is I spray it on my hair uh, before I blow dry my hair, if I'm blow drying my hair curly. I also have another product that I like, but I kind of switch back and forth between a couple of different products. This is definitely, um, every time I blow dry my hair, if I'm doing a curly style, I put this in my hair. And then what you can do afterward is at any point in time during the day or throughout, you know, the evening or whatever, you can spray more of that on and just give it a little bit of a scrunch and it helps to revive the curls. And I think that's really important because sometimes, you know, your hair just gets kind of flat and you need a little bit of an extra poof. That's... anyway. <laughs> um, <clears throat> my next favorite product is uh, out of the body care line, skin care, whatever, and it's the Lush Dream Cream. And I haven't used too much of it. It's about, I don't know, a third of the way gone. It smells so amazing. It has um, lots of stuff in it. Lavender, oat, olive oil, cocoa butter, glycerin, tea tree oil, um, rose, and on and on and on. And then for facial moisturizer, what I've been using is the Lancome Primordial Skin Recharge. It is literally just about gone. I think I can probably use one or two more and then it's done. And the other thing that I've really loved this month is, um, it's by Shiseido, and it was just a little sample, uh, container, I don't know, a couple of months ago that I got, and I hadn't used it, I just didn't think about it. And, uh, it's the benef... Benefiance, Benefiance, I don't know, Creamy Cleansing Foam. And it's my makeup remover that I've been using the past month, and I really, really like this. And it's really expensive, though. That's the only thing, that's the only reason I haven't gotten a full-size thing. Um, for a full-size container of it, it's like 45 bucks for a face wash, and that's pretty expensive. And... That's about it for body care, face care, skin care, whatever. Next is into cosmetics. Um, I'm going to do face, eyes, and cheeks. Okay, back and forth. Um, first thing is my Gosh Velvet Touch Foundation Primer. Get this at Shoppers Drug Mart, and it doesn't really have a smell, it's pretty much scentless. Um, <clears throat> I just put one squirt on the tip of my finger, and then I tap my fingers together like this, here, 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 and then rub it in all over my face and down my neck. I use this every day, whether I'm just wearing um, my mineralized skin finish, or if I'm actually using my Studio Fix 
um, can, uh, foundation, which is my next product. I love this stuff. I was having such a tough time trying to keep um, makeup around my nose and in the center of my face. It just seemed to melt away. Um, by the end of the day, I had nothing around my nose, nothing around my cheeks, and it was it was driving me insane. So I thought, all right, well, it's time to change because what I'm using obviously isn't working. So I decided to give this a try. I had looked at it um, a couple of times, and I had read a lot of reviews and watched a lot of uh, YouTube reviews, and there were a lot of girls saying that they were having issues with this product. But I thought, well, it seems pretty good for those people who are able to use it they're not having issues. So I gave it a shot and I have not had a single breakout from it. I have not had any um, issues with it melting off my face. It stays put. It doesn't crease. It doesn't crack. It is awesome. It's, yeah, I, I'm never, ever, ever, as long as this keeps working, I'm never going back to anything else. This is just amazing. Um, um, my next one is my Mineralized Skin Finish in by Candlelight. This is from the Warm and Cozy collection. I have it on over top of the blush that I'm wearing right now. I love it just because it gives like a nice soft glow and it really finishes things off. Painterly Paint Pot. Next one. Love this stuff. Put it on underneath every single eyeshadow. Even if I'm not wearing eyeshadow that day, I still wear it just to um, give my eyes more of an even color. The next one is my Raven Eyeliner. It is awesome. I wear it probably not every day, but I wear it probably three days a week for sure. Um, Eye Brightener Mascara by Physicians Formula. Picked this up at Winners. It's been just about an everyday thing for me. Um, satin Taupe. Love it. Wear it all over the lid. Wear it as a definer color. You know, it's perfect. Um, MAC, or rather, yeah. MAC Chamomile from the Warm and Cozy Collection. Amazing. Cranberry. Love it. Wear it probably as much as I wear satin taupe, which is a lot. Urban Decay Brow Beater. Wax on one side, color on the other. Definer pencil for your eyebrows. Super amazing. Um, and finally, Eye Bright by Benefit. I have it underneath my eyes in the corners right now. Um, it just helps to brighten up my eyes, make them really wide and awake and open, and they just, they're great. Uh, it's great. It's great. <laughs> it's great. So that is um, my makeup section. Finally, perfume. Um, Mary Kay Warm Amber. I've used quite a bit of this. Not in the last month, of course, but, you know. And I got a little sample of Juicy Couture. Look at this, isn't it so cute? It's so tiny. <gasps> anyway, and I love these. I wear them one or the other every day. So that's my January favorites video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!